My job was to think about what can happen next? What do we want to have happen next? And what can the future really look like? I'm Christian Hammond. I'm a professor of computer science at Northwestern University, and most recently, I am chief scientist for a company called Narrative Science. It has a technology, a platform uh, that writes stories from numbers. And the stories we write are indistinguishable from something that a human being would write. It looks at those numbers, it figures out what those numbers mean, and it turns those numbers into English. I personally am a massive massive science fiction fan. You don't get into computer science, you don't get into artificial intelligence, unless you have spent your entire childhood by yourself reading books and reading comic books. So my worldview was built around people who were envisioning the future. And I thought that that was my job. All the writers who I have loved, my favorite is Philip K. Dick. And in particular, his notion of the nature of what is real, what is human, what is not human, and how those lines blur, how it is possible, in fact, to build machines that are far more human than some humans are. There were writers like Asimov. And so all of the Foundation and Robot books were, for me, the bread and butter of what I thought it meant to think about technology. And so Philip Dick gave me a view of what it meant to be human and what it meant to build something that could be like human. And Asimov was really all about the future that was buildable and very technological and predictable, which was a fantastic thought, that we were part of a big mechanism. I believe that there is nothing that human beings can do that machines won't be able to do. There's nothing, absolutely nothing. And to believe otherwise, I think, is to believe that human beings are magical, that we're of some other world. I think that as we begin to think about what decision-making really is, what creativity really is, and even as we think about things like intuition, intuition is we make decisions without understanding why. But in fact, if you look at what a lot of the deep learning work looks like, it's kind of in the realm of intuition. The human brain, particularly the neocortex, is basically a big pattern recognizer. And it will provide us biologically inspired methods to create intelligent machines. We will stop seeing the machine as the cold, cruel number cruncher and start realizing that, in fact, we are machines as well.